G'day folks and welcome to T1D Tales. Now, hey, it doesn't look like much. Could just be a couple of Foxtel plugs, couldn't it? But I think it has arrived. I was just doing some numbers, rough numbers, working on about five tests a day over the course of my life. 63,875 times I have stuck a pin in my finger, drawn blood to test my blood sugar level. And that's not counting leap years. So, the excitement factor is just about through the roof. Anyway, I'm gonna open this thing up and get right into it. Oh, look at them, little sensors. Now this, I'm gonna put it straight on my arm and we'll see how this goes, okay? Basically, what's gonna happen, the sensor's gonna read my blood sugar all day, every day. You basically just open them up, load the sensor, done. Cocked and loaded, woo! I am that excited, I'm starting to sweat. I've got my spots up under the arm, okay? That's where they're supposed to be used. Now you go there, seems like a weird spot, but it's out of the way. This is how easy this is. I have, I've shaved a little bit of hair there, because if you do this, ah, <laughs> the short hairs on the neck, they hurt. So do the ones underneath your arm. Oh, that skin, that's pinchy. So anyway, I've gone up under there. Oh, that's it. It's on. All right, I'll just press that sticky down. That's feeling good. You really, it's just like you've put a sticker on your arm. That's all, like, that's all it feels like. Just a sticker. And I'm glad I shaved the little hairs off because now there's no tug, no pull, that's good. Okay, and if I just drop my shirt, hello. It's gone. So it's not a bad spot. Don't go too high because you get under that stretchy skin under your arm and then you'd be tugging and pulling at the sticky stuff for two weeks and that wouldn't be any good at all. So now the machine, right? Start new sensor. Scan sensor to start it. New sensor starting up, can be used in 60 minutes. That's just this little guy, you know, doing a few stretches, warming up, getting ready to party for two weeks. Two weeks! <sighs> See you in an hour. I know what I'll do. Okay, so don't be taking this as medical advice. See you professional. Here we go, turn the machine on. Check glucose, scan sensor to check your glucose. I like the sound. Oh, it's 11.6. It's not perfect, but sometimes you're not perfect. You go up, you go down, and that's just the way it is. But this, it's not just telling me where I am, but it's telling me where I'm going. Look at this. Awesome. Oh, this is a new, this is a new day. This is a new day. Look at my fingers, they're relaxed already. Hello, fellas. No more stabbing you in the top of the head. Anyway. That's the sensor. It's on. I'll let you know how it goes in a week or two, but um, checked it again. <laughs> oh, I'm dead set as excited as a six-year-old on Christmas Eve. This is nuts. Oh, except that it's not available for children. This is, it's, I don't know, I won't call it ludicrous because I don't know why they've done this, but if you want this available for kids, I mean, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe so I can keep you informed and we'll look into it. The more people that get behind asking the question, the more chance there are of having kids being able to use it. That has been T1D Tales, a very excited one too. Just let me check one more time. See you later. <laughs> you beauty. Now, if you like what you've seen, thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. And subscribe to get free DIY fun and tips for maintenance at your place.